So um, where did the idea for Rabbit Comics come from? So I want to know about the name and just, you know, was this was this pandemic? Like, hey, listen, we, we can. Uh, it was it. pre-pandemic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was, you know, I was working from home. About and four years ago. When we were I felt like I had a lot of extra time, you know, when you yeah. work from home, like you're just sitting around. And so I, I surfed a lot of eBay and Facebook and I saw like, I saw graded comics. I never really looked at graded comics. So that's kind of where I went first. I yeah. was like, well, I can see if I can do this. <laughs> yeah. So I tried. <laughs> I bought a bunch of comics, got some stuff graded. And I used to just sell mostly on Facebook, mm-hmm. um, just Facebook auctions or like the raffles on Facebook, which are is kind of a gray area but people do it. Um, and then I had, I bought the URL at one point cause I figured I'd want to do it. And the name rabbit is, was kind of like my spirit animal. Sounds stupid. Okay. But uh, <laughs> like I have a tattoo like on my arm. There's like a, a rabbit hidden in here. Okay. Okay. And I always wonder that too, because on the whatnot videos, I'm like, man, that shit looks so cool. I would love to see yeah, it's like a, more detail a, in it. A cyberpunk ish rabbit. Okay. Like, design stuff. Yeah, It's hard. It's, it's hard to see, hard yeah. to see. that's on purpose but... kind of too. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. And you know, with that, I was just, I was kind of surprised, you know, the simple fact that rabbitcomics.com was available. I'm like, that's yeah. easier to yeah. talk about. Like, yeah. Who doesn't know how to spell rabbit? <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Being a UX designer. So like, yeah. So like yeah. the UX kind of comes into it. And... Simple, easy to spell. Right. It's right. Like, and even us dyslexic people can spell yeah. and not mess up. <laughs> <laughs> And so like, it was, I think during the pandemic, I was like, oh, let's just make a website. And it took a while for people to actually come to the website. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's really hard, especially when you're not like spending money on AdWords or- Right, it's like not an overnight thing. A lot of people feel like, you know, whether if you start an online store, you start a podcast, whatever, it's like, it's, if I don't have Joe Rogan numbers tomorrow, I'm a failure. Uh, it's like yeah. dude, Joe Rogan took 12 years to get to where he is. It's a yeah. slow and trickle anyway. and a lot of work. Yes. A lot of work, a lot more work than you think, a lot more than you think when you start to sure. <laughs> you're like, you're sure. like, Hey, why, why are only two people visited my site today? You know? <laughs> so did you stuff. create your website being a UX designer? Yeah, I designed it. Um, it's, I mean, it's a Shopify site. So yeah. Yeah. Start the structure of it. There's stuff I'd want to change, like stuff that bugs me, but I won't point that out. <laughs> but there, I, that's always stuff I want to change. And, sure. You know, I mean, that that's the inherent UX designer in you. I'm always like, I wish I could do this, you know, but that's money and time and <laughs> everything. I got I got to say, you, you know, we talked off camera on this. I feel like your store is one of the easiest to navigate and I'm going against like brick and mortars and a lot of other companies out there. It's just, you know, you put in the search, you, you have what you have. Like, it's just, everything is right there for you. And I love the personal touch that you put in the packages. I think to me, <laughs> That is a great sign of customer service. And I know you just pointed to Melissa on that. Like, I love that. And I was a bartender for 15 years. So customer service is my thing. And that's what we try to like represent on the show and everything else is just, hey, you know, how do like local people like us try to get ahead in life? And I feel like between just your website design and then that nice little touch of just a personalization on the packages makes everything. So, you know, just how like, as far as that, like the personal touch there, Melissa, like, was that just something that you just wanted to add on there on top of the website? Like, tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I was at a play date at a bar and I made the children draw me little faces for ideas and inspiration. And then I started like drawing them on little packages but you've included out. notes and but yeah stuff i've always and... included like little notes and stuff like I we think, change up our stickers i think it's lot. important getting to know people and know their names and make it feel more of a community mm-hmm. and yeah because comics is definitely you know with instagram you notice it's there's you get a lot of repeat customers and it's a, it's a community yeah. And you know, whatnot is kind of added to that on top of it. Um, but yeah, you don't want right. to be crappy about it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So uh, I brought this up on, on the, on our like pre-show or whatnot, your custom covers are fantastic to me, literally like some of the, some of the best in the game. How, like, what is your process when it comes to, you know, is it, is it like something where you pick the artist yourself 
Like, how does that all work out when it comes to your custom covers for, if, you know, whatever comic books that you're choosing? Yeah, generally we try to match an artist with what kind of style we think would match the book. Okay. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that would be like the simplest way. Sometimes that doesn't always work out. And, sure. But usually we, we want to match someone's, you know, style with what, I mean, what we're thinking in our head. This is the best way to describe the creative process on that. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know. It's hard to put into words, but it, it's usually maybe we have some sort of concept, some sort of style, like color wise, or me, I mean, you're looking at like realistic versus more abstract art. Right. Depending on what works with what you think would work with that cover. Yeah. Certain artists, we right. just tell them like free range, you can come up with yeah. what you want. Um, I Some, think our, our cover with Boom for Something is Killing the Children 25 that mm -hmm. is actually going to be delivered tomorrow. The zoo or the one, that's the only one where we didn't get to pick our artist and we okay. just got super lucky. Well, we got to pick, we got to you give had, a list of artists. You had a list, they had a list gotcha. of artists and you got to pick like your top three and okay. cross your fingers and hope you got one of those. Gotcha. So zoo was and top. zoo was our first choice. So... We yeah, were super yeah. excited after working with her for the closet. The closet, yeah, another James Tynan series. Nice. So uh, it, when it came to the um, the first <clears throat> place from here, was that the same thing, or what, did you actually get to pick that? First place, uh, no, one or two. <laughs> uh, well, both. To be honest with you, because I love both. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one, we picked both of them. You know, I'd worked with, I for the second one, I'd worked with Ivan on a bunch of covers. Yeah. Ivan, you know, and um, she, and on the, Sheldon did the first one. We hadn't worked with him before, so we just tried out new things. And yeah, we just did that. <laughs> just did it, you know, where he's like, let's do, you know, homage to... Uh, the comedian. Yeah. The Watchmen. The Watchmen cover. I'm like, sure, let's we'll yeah. see how it works. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. That, I love that. And then the second one with, uh, like, the John Wick Oh, yeah, it was like a John Wick with the perfect. hammer instead of the yeah. gun. Yeah. yeah. And Brandon actually designed the background of that comic. <laughs> My contribution. He, he did hey. that behind Ivan's Damn, artwork on awesome. there. <laughs> yeah, because I always wondered how that worked out, you know, between as far as distribution and, you know, figuring out how it's going to be exclusive to like towards yours. Because I love, uh, and I'm literally like looking at them. I want to like walk over. Yeah, I know we're not live, but. <laughs> You know, I have the Watchmen one, and then I have part two, which is like the John Wick one. And I was just like, yeah. damn, this is dope. And then the funny thing is, when I bought them, I didn't even know it was y'all. Because I was oh, like, yeah. I put my bid in. And then I saw it was like Rabbit Comics. I'm like, great. My money's still going to people that I love. So this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so publishers are different with how they work. Um, some publishers, like, they, you, you pick the artist, and then they're like, you're not allowed to talk to the artist. We talk to the artist. Oh, wow. Which is really awkward when you already know the artist personally. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> it's like, okay, I just can't tell. You can't show me what he's working on now. Yeah. It's like top secret. Yeah. Um, but like image and stuff isn't like you, you supply all the artwork. They get, the artist sent it to me. I send it and get it approved. You know, sometimes you go through an approval process where like the creators, they're like, no, this isn't good. Fix it. Or too sexual. Fix it. Yeah. Her boobs are too yeah, big. Ivan, ha Ivan has a problem with boobs that get too big <laughs> sometimes. makes them very voluptuous. I, I saw your post on yeah. that and I After back, back up like, a little bit. <laughs> I, and I'm like, we'll sell more of them. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta bring them down to B cups, damn it. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's, that's basically the conversation I've had with Ivan. Like, just a little smaller. <laughs> Before we wrap up, we got to do a this or that challenge. So I'm going to go back and forth between the two of you. Okay. You got to pick one. So okay. it's straight up and you can give an explanation if you want to. It's something that we're known for. We're starting to bring this back this season. So <laughs> right. I'm going to give you two options. You got to pick one or the other. There's okay. no tie. There's no, ah, uh, just, you got to pick one. And if you want to give an excuse for picking one, it's okay. You can totally do that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we'll go ahead and start with Melissa on this one. Chris Evans or Chris Hemsworth? Ooh, Chris Evans. Okay. Okay. Down with the mustache. I mean, he's got a weird, <laughs> he has a hideous mustache right now.
in that new Netflix movie. I know. And I haven't seen it yet. But I've, I've always had a crush on him. It's funny because I was Obsessed. just telling her my memories there's of Chris Hemsworth are not another teen movie with the, with the banana. <laughs> that I was just talking about. That, like, <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> that <was> unfortunate. <laughs> hey, we 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 all got to start somewhere, especially yeah, exactly. actors and actresses. <laughs> all right, so Brandon, Poison Ivy or Harley Quinn? Harley Quinn. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Back to Melissa over here. PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox. PlayStation has too many like sports games okay or right. any any favorite okay. xbox game i don't know she doesn't we we have all xbox i mean we have xbox <laughs> every kid's bedroom Microsoft. there's a lot of xboxes playing around. <laughs> and downstairs yeah. all right all right back to brandon here we're gonna go star wars or star trek star wars excellent excellent answer <laughs> all right Melissa, we're going to do Taco Bell or Chipotle? Chipotle. Okay. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of fans out there. It's, it's, it's like one of those 50-50 things. So a lot of our Chipotle fans are about to be like, yes! And Taco Bell is really good too, but it makes my tummy hurt. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have little kids. I say tummy and I, 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 I just feel like if I'm going to have fast food Mexican, I'm going to go with Taco Bell. If I'm going to have anything else, it's going to be at an actual Mexican restaurant. Yeah. That's just yeah. my thing. True. All right, Brandon. Last but not least, vampires or werewolves? True. I have to say vampires. At least they live forever, right? Very true. Very true. I've yet to see one person answer werewolves on this, but I think it'll happen one day. <laughs> yeah, werewolves are hairy too, and I can't control them. <laughs> yeah. True. Very true. Yeah, and when when, you know, when, it, when it's a full moon, vampires you're just screwed. They have more like sex appeal to them <laughs> it's a whole other conversation that we've had we'll save that for whatnot <laughs> here we go here we go we're definitely gonna have you guys back it's been a blast